with over 20 billion in sales in 2018 and a projected 63 billion by 2024, the cannabis industry is the fastest growing global market. With size divided on legalization, it's the Wild West in America, with businesses and government alike looking to capitalize on this global boom. The green prohibition is relevant people and their ideas joining cannabis to the business world. Let's meet our panelists. Ryan McDevitt, serial entrepreneur, a specialist in pharmacy and post-acute healthcare. Dr. Kathy MD is a specialist in holistic medicine and a cannabis activist. Brandon Legrant, real estate investor that manages over $5 billion worth of development projects. Today, find out what companies get a deal from the industry's top investors, investors coming from different backgrounds, making great advancements in healthcare, finance, and software development. I'm Hope Wiseman, and welcome to the Green Prohibition. Let's talk green. My name is Curtis Scott, and my company is Trippy Snacks. Think of us like Willy Wonka meets Snoop Dogg meets Willie Nelson. Uh, today I've been looking for a $50,000 investment for about 15% of my company. Let's try, let's try your product. I make about, I want to say $320 per one batch with an $8 investment for, in the food costs as well. So you're saying to make this product is only $8 but you make $320? Mm -hmm. And you as for $50,000, I'm tell you now, I'm, I'm interested. Okay, you got two offers, one from Brandon for 50K. 20%, one from Ryan, okay? 10% over three years, POS, after you generate money, after you work with Brandon. Got about five seconds left. All right, we got it. Good All deal. All right, congratulations. I'm Good job. You, I'm telling you, take it there. Good job. I, I think you made the right decision. Excellent. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Congratulations. We are C-Tracks. We're entrepreneurs at heart, so we were thinking about how to get into the industry because it's obviously emerging. Went to Vegas, realized that there was a problem with the software. We realized that we could solve this problem. It, the rest is history. <laughs> we have an approach valuation conversations because we know we're a pre-revenue company. And to be frank, the leverage is all in you guys' court checkbook. I am very conscientious and conscious of vaporware. Okay. Okay. You guys know what vaporware is? Yes. Okay, vaporware is software that's sold with an idea of implementation. I can't let them buy vaporware. So my offer. You yes. do it? Okay. What's all your right, offer? Right, Let's hear. Right, I mean, right. I like I like them, but the thing is, you're just in the beginning, the very beginning stages. So I would give you a hundred thousand dollars is what you need, right? But only at a fifty percent investment. Your hundred grand at fifty percent wouldn't help us like we need our help. Hmm. If, if you were somebody that could introduce me to a thousand dispensary owners and can lead me to my next follow-on investment and yeah, show me Yeah, but nobody how can do that. No one can do that. There's 200,000 here. Why not ask for more? Ask for more. And if somebody buys our company out for 50% right yeah. now for 100 grand, okay, so that makes us a $200,000 company, yeah. pre-revenue, right? You do understand that like, we take an investment for $50,000. Yeah. We're done, we're employees. Exactly. We're in the same role that we're in now. We discussed amongst ourselves, and we just know that if we give up 50% right now, the feasibility of us being able to attract future investment and really build a viable, sustaining company in the next two years is gonna be severely compromised. So count on. Our con so we wanted to talk about a relationship with you for 25% of our company. All right, Ryan, what do you think? Um, I think you should try to go win a contest. So you got an offer, but it wasn't exactly what you wanted. Yeah, no, um, and while we were happy that we were able to get an offer, we just recognized that uh, if we gave up that much control over our company this early and it, it wouldn't leave us any room to adapt to future investment and, and really chase the market like we want. That's a little little scary for us, I think, to get Yeah, up. maybe too early. Yeah. yeah. Hi, my name is Casey Van Hill, and I'm here with Greenhouse Georgia. Today, we're asking for $150,000 in exchange for 49% equity of our company. Okay, nice. $150,000, it's not a bad offer at all of 49% of your company. And I keep hearing you say we, uh, I'm just trying to, who's the other person? My sister and I, we would be one of the few, if any, cafes that actually sell bottles of tinctures. Here we have the watermelon. 
And these have CBD in them. So we're not getting high, we're getting healthier. Exactly. Okay. You know, we're trying to help people incorporate fruits and vegetables in their diet, and we're also trying to help people, you know, throw out their op opioids and, you know, bring in CBD products instead. Man, I feel like Casey is speaking directly to Dr. Kathy. Oh, yeah, she, she is. is. She want to hear from your sister. Yes, I'm, I'm right going to hear from your sister before I sign on so, that. But. Do you want to take a second to call your sister? Maybe step out of the if room. That's what I she mean, wants, this is like, you just got I what you're asking her. for. I need to hear her. Here she is. Hey, I'm here with Dr. Kathy. She's interested in investing the 150000 that we talked about. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Dr. Kathy, are you able to give us a little bit more commitment moving forward? We well, like the idea of partnering and having someone side by side with us. Well, listen, I'm an MD. I've been doing this for over 30 years. I can guarantee you that I have the population to, you know, market. So are you in or you're out? 49, 150K, yes or no? All right, congratulations, thank you. <laughs> A pleasure, thank you, sweetheart. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Bye. talk to you later. Hi, my name is Erin e. Goins, and I'm the founder of Green Spice. I'm looking for $200,000 for 10% of stake in our company. Like many women, I felt the negative stigma associated with consuming cannabis. And no woman should have to bear the responsibility of measuring their own dosage. Oh, okay. wow. So how do you sell it? Little, um... So we sell it in a little bottle. It comes in a 100 milligram bottle. Okay. And then it also comes in a 250 milligram bottle. And how much are those each? Um, so the 100 milligram bottle is $24.99. Okay. And the 250 milligram bottle is $39.99. I'm creative, okay. all right, so I'm known to be creative here. I like that you have a CMO. Uh, I think that uh, I think that I like the 200,000 because I think you need that, but it's gotta be 25%. Okay, can I take a few minutes sure to call Sure you can, we'll mine? see you in a few. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> welcome back, Erin. Hello. Great, hey. so did you think about it? Yes. All right, give us yeah. a decision. I talked with my partners, okay. Okay. Uh, we appreciate. Um, what do you guys have on the table? Um, but we've decided to go with Brandon's offer. Oh, look at that. wow. Look at that. Well, look at you. Congratulations. Uh, I'm successful. surprised. What made you go for that? <laughs> what made you go for it? What made you decide? Um, I thought his name was Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> so I did win. So I did win. Thank look at you that. Much. Look at that. Like Brandon. That yeah, was good. Go. Okay, Brandon, good That job. was good. Well, <laughs> congratulations, <laughs> Ryan. Congratulations. Yeah, should have oh with Brandon. You do still have the deal, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You still have the deal. You oh. should, should oh. I don't think you can oh. Thank you. Thank you. Stay out of it. Right. Stay out of it. Oh, no. That, that is so good. Oh, my God. Oh, Thank you. We're so excited. Thank you. All the best.